In this video, I'm going to give you my top five reasons why I think you should be self-hosting your own services, either supplementing or replacing Netflix with Plex, replacing Google Drive with Nextcloud, or even replacing your password manager like LastPass with another program called Bitwarden, or technically it should be Vault Warden. So we're just going to dive right into it, starting with my number five reason for why I think you should be self-hosting your own services. My number five reason, cost. Yeah, you're going to be paying more electricity for running the services to power up the server that you're using. However, you won't have to upgrade your storage plan if you start running out of disk space on Google Drive. And you won't have to pay any extra if you want to share your services with more than one person. And with Netflix starting to do something about people that share their passwords with their friends and family, you could easily just add more accounts to your services. Reason number four, performance. It can be as basic or advanced as you'd like. Most of the time, just a basic computer will do. You don't have to purchase new or a huge server. A regular desktop computer will do. There are even services that you can actually run with just a Raspberry Pi. But the cool thing about self-hosting your services, you can scale up. If you need more disk space, you can add another hard drive. If it's running a little slow, you can add more memory or even upgrade the CPU. The third reason for why I think you should be self-hosting your services is you gain knowledge. If this is something new to you, you'll not only have fun learning about self-hosting your own services, but you'll also learn some valuable skills. When I decided to change careers from being a paramedic back into IT, being able to speak about my experiences with building out my home lab and hosting my own services really helped me out during the interview process. Being able to speak about the services that I am hosting myself and my journey in learning how to do that not only helped me become more confident during the interview, but it also helped me land a job. My reason number two, control. Since you're the one self-hosting your services, you get to choose who gets to access these services and who doesn't. And just like I said before with uh, performance, you get to choose how basic or advanced you want your server or computer to be. And the number one reason why I think you should be self-hosting your services is you own your own data. The cloud is basically just another person's computer. When you upload your data to Google Drive or to Dropbox or any of the other major cloud storage providers, you are trusting your data to be in somebody else's drive and you don't really know who is accessing that data. Now when you host your own cloud storage solution, all of the data that you are uploading or sharing is coming out of your hard drive. And most of the time you're going to be hosting it from home, so everything is going to be at home. This is by far the best reason, in my opinion, why you should be self-hosting your services. Purchasing a subscription to Google Drive, Dropbox, or even Netflix is just really convenient since someone else does all of the maintenance and upgrades to the servers. You also don't have to worry about the cost of electricity or the internet dropping. But at the end of the day, it's really up to you to decide which path is for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help the channel and it will help YouTube spread the word about us. Also, if you like the content, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new videos to the channel. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.